So, good morning. Oh, God, it's 1233, y'all. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. We'll do that. All right. So, you know what? Let's open up in prayer. And then I've got something really cool for you to try today. So, I am going to actually ask you to save the video, keep this video with you, and pause during sections of the video so you can do the extended version at home. All right. So, Lord, we love you. We magnify your holy name. We thank you for who you are and whose we are. We are just so enamored by you, and we love you. And Holy Spirit, I ask for you to fill this session with us. Have your will. Have your way. You are most definitely welcomed in this place. And Lord, I pray for anyone that's dealing with stress, fear, anything, Father God, that we would rest in you knowing that you've got us and perfect love cast out all fear. And Lord, we just love you in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. So what I want to go over today with you is what Ross and I have been doing for the last few years. And we were like, we really need to share this because it's helping us a lot. So relax, we call it relax, relate, renew. Okay. So we're going to go through and again, save the video. That way you can do the extended version. Um, and here's the thing. Um, constantly forget to say who I am. <laughs> I constantly forget to say who I am, just in case you're joining me for the first time. Ugh, how rude, right? Okay. So my name is Shannon Turner and I am known as your comeback coach. My husband, Ross Turner, and I had decided to start a company uh, back in 2022. I guess you can call it a life coaching company. And we are, it's called Rebuilt by Grace. And we are on a mission to help entrepreneurs and ministry leaders come back from burnout and be able to accomplish what God placed you on this earth to accomplish. Because if you don't do it, it may not get done. Right. And that's what we want to do. We want to make sure that we are all taking care of ourselves. We want to make sure that, you know, we build a strong community because let me tell you, Ross and I know what it's like to go through some of the most unspeakable storms and to feel like you're completely alone in that you may not be alone in those storms, but the enemy sure loves to try to get you to think that you are right. So um, and again, you know, comment, say hi, share the video, all the things. And before I go into how to do the Relax Relate Renew, it's so on my heart. So if there's anybody that we could pray for, hop into the DMs, right? So hop into the DMs. We definitely want to start praying for others more. I think that's a key too. When you're going through so much, it's so tempting to just be like, oh, I'm just going to pray for myself. Just myself. I'm just praying for myself. All focused on me, me, me. But God doesn't work like that, does he? So I pray for anyone that is going through a hard time right now that God would give you the desire to intercede and pray for others. And that he would give others the desire to intercede and pray for you. Because together, we got this, right? All right. So again, if there is, I don't know why I'm clapping, I'm getting excited. <laughs> so if there is anything that we could pray for you about, you know, again, hop into my DMs. Ross and I would love, love, love to partner with you in prayer, especially if you're going through stress and anxiety or anything like that. So I see we have some new friends on. So again, my name is Shannon Turner. I am known as your comeback coach. Ross, uh, my husband, who is not here right now, <laughs> you can see some of the other videos. Um, so in 2022, Ross and I felt the Lord was leading us together to form a company called Rebuilt by Grace. I am a certified life coach. Ross has a bachelor's in psychology. And our joke is, my dear God, do we have a PhD in overcoming burnout? Because we have been hit hard with some stuff. But we choose to look at life not that it's happening to us, but that we're learning from it. You know, all these storms that come, it's an opportunity to learn, to grow, and to get closer with God, right? Okay, so we're going to go over, and again, I don't know why I'm doing this today. <laughs> Just, okay, 
get it out of my system. So we are going to go over what Ross and I have been doing for the past few years when we get into life storms and all the things is we call it relax, relate, renew. So again, please share the video, pause the video so you can do the extended version. But this morning, afternoon, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and walk you through an abbreviated portion of it. And if you do want to learn more information about us, uh, you can go ahead and message us and we will send you a copy. The book is $20. If you do buy it through us, we do provide a lot of free bonuses that's going to come into your email. So again, this is a lot about our journey and what we're doing. Okay, so let's go on to Relax, Relate, Renew. So I would, if you were here with me or if we were doing a private Zoom session, I would ask you to please find a place where you can get comfortable. Okay, so you're going to get comfortable. So if you need to pause this and be like, hold on, let me go get comfortable. Let me go in my recliner. Let me, you know, don't, don't fall asleep. <laughs> just get comfortable. You know, get, get the plush blanket on you and just relax. So then you would take about five minutes and absolute quiet. I mean, cell phone nowhere near you. Quiet. But what I do want near you is a journal. So you're going to do five minutes of complete quiet. Center yourself so you can hear what God is going to be speaking to you. And our prayer is that he would be speaking to you during this, this session. So, you know, take five minutes, absolute quiet, do some deep breathing, you know. So let's do that together now, right? Let's do the five deep breaths, okay? Wonderful. You just want to center yourself. So we would do that. And then I would ask you, hey, during the next portion, especially the next portion that we're getting ready to do, write anything in your journal that comes up. Because right now we're going to ask the Lord to bring up any hidden stressors that, you know, sometimes you're like, oh, I can handle that and I can handle that. And I can handle that. But really, no. <laughs> Sometimes we just think we can, but it's really buried in our heart or in our subconscious, if you want to say. So again, at this moment, we'll make sure that you have your journal. We're doing a pretend abbreviated session together and you're going to click pause when I say click pause. So what you would do now is you're making sure you're comfortable. You've already had your five minutes of silence. You had your five deep breaths, right? So you've got your journal near you. Now you're going to end up going into 10 minutes. Again, phone not near you, but 10 minutes of just absolute peace and quiet. The only thing that we are requesting that you have on during that 10 minutes is praise and worship music. Slow, gentle praise and worship music. It's even referred to as soaking or something. Um, but just put on something light in the background. Don't have it really loud, but just to, you know, calm your mind and your body, right? So, and during this time, we're going to be like, God, please, anything that we'll just say your name is Sally Sue, you're Sally Sue, the client, right? So, you know, we would just be like, God, during this 10 minutes of praise and worship and soaking in your presence, we just ask that if there's anything hidden within Sally Sue that is causing anxiety, causing stress, causing burnout, that you would just bring that to the surface so we can deal with that. Okay. And then, so if you want to do this at home, pause the video, get your praise and worship music going, set your timer maybe for 10 minutes. 
and be writing down what God is showing you. And then when you're done, so welcome back after the 10 minutes. And now that you're back, we're going to go into the relating process. So all of that was the relaxing. Now we're going to go into the relating. So at this point, I would ask you, Sally Sue, do you want to share anything that showed up during that time? So Sally Sue would then be like, oh, this, I thought this wasn't a problem, and but it is. Like, I thought I had a handle on the bills, but really with the stress that everything causes me, I think really the bills have a handle on me. <laughs> so then we would discuss that. And here's the thing, a lot of times what I'm finding is the things that make me anxious or the things that stress me out, it's really not that particular thing in that particular minute. It's somehow tied back to something from my past and it's triggering me, right? So for instance, uh, the kids and I, part of my testimony, is I had to take my children and flee domestic violence. This was back in like 2007. And uh, we lived in shelters. Well, while being a single mom for five years and basically living in shelters and public housing and all the, all the things, I also was battling cancer. I battled cancer three times <laughs> while being a single parent, living in public housing and shelters and all of that. That has done something within my heart like I never want to go back to living in a shelter again and so we had something going on at our apartment um, an inspection or something and this was recent but what it was doing is I was wanting to make sure the house was completely spotless almost like make it look like we were on a mag you know that it was featured on a magazine and my family was like whoa it ain't even that serious like what is happening so ross ended up walking me through the relax really renew process what came up is that was kicking off a bunch of anxiety from the past that i had to now relate those two together see that there was an actual relation between the current stressor and the past stressor. And I had to relate those together. And then I had to make peace with the past and change the way I looked at living in shelters. So instead of, I lived in shelters, oh my gosh, that was so scary, poor me. Now I look at it, yes, we lived in shelters, but we were safe. That was a way back then that God provided for us. And I don't believe I will ever return to a shelter, GC. Um, but if you happen to be watching this and you're in a shelter right now, change the narrative. Not poor you, but God has blessed you to be in a safe place that is providing shelter. Okay? So I want you to look at your journal and pick one thing that popped up, I would go for the thing that surprised you the most. Pick out that one thing and now sit there, pause this again, well, in a minute, but you know, pause this again and take a couple minutes and go, God, is this interacting with that? Is there a relation between what I'm going through now is it kicking up something from my past? Again, they call that a trigger. Everybody knows that. But sometimes these little suckers like to hide and we don't even realize it, right? Okay, so then unpause because I would give Sally Sue probably like 10 to 15 minutes, whatever she needed to really get into prayer and see what God showed her. And then we're going to take that stressor and once you figure it out where it's kicking off from, we're going to take that. Now we're going to do the renew portion and we're going to renew your mind around that situation. Remember, I just shared I used to live in shelters with the kids and it was an extremely overwhelming experience. But now I look at it because I've reframed my mindset around it. God protected me. God provided for us. So I want you to take that stressor 
reframe your memory around that, reframe the narrative around that, that yes, this horrible thing happened. Sometimes they say, you know, this horrible thing happened, but you survived it and it could have been a lot worse, right? And then, so once you do that, and again, we would end up like talking this out and everything, but once you do that, now I wanna take your current stress, okay? So this is what we did for mine. I got really, really comfortable for this part. And so we take the current stressor and we reframe it, thinking, focusing, concentrating on the fact that God loves us, God is for us, God wants the best for us, God never leaves us, and redo that whole scenario, okay? So what I did is I was like, okay, I see them, I, because our, our imagination can go absolutely insane with all the worst case scenarios. So what I did is I created in my mind the best case scenario, okay? So I was like, they come in and it's, they're just, they think we've done such a great job with the place. All the maintenance issues are good. They're in and out in such a quick time. It's going to be wonderful. And so I just kept speaking that and speaking that because how many times have I obsessed over my imagination wants to go, oh, blah, 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 bad case scenario, bad case scenario, blah, blah, blah. No. So what I did is when anxiety tried to rose, rise up, I was like, nope, not doing that. I am recognizing this is a trigger from here and I am viewing the past that God brought me through it and I am in a better place now and he never left me and he will not leave me here. And let me tell you, when that inspection finally happened, it was great. It literally pretty much went the exact way I kept saying that, you know, Lord, I, I want them to just come in and, and I want it to be quick and I want all the maintenance things to da 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 So that's what Ross and I do. That is how we handle our stressors. So it's relax, relate, renew. So you want to get comfortable and you want to do five minutes of silence, then like five to seven really deep breaths have your journal with you this whole time because you're asking God what's what's causing me the anxiety where's where's the root we're getting the root and we're ripping out the root right so then you want to have like 10 minutes of praise and worship music again this continual time you're asking God what is showing up what is showing up you know I, I like what what's hidden please have that come forth and then you're going to look at your journal and I want you to do one item at a time, but go after the one that surprises you the most. Then you're going to move to the relate portion. You're going to be like, okay, God, am I being triggered by something in my past? Why is this one area really bothering me? And is it being a trigger from something in my past? If it is, I want you to go back to that past and reframe how you view that situation. Remember? I was single mom fighting cancer, living in shelters and public housing. That was the most, one of the most stressful times, but I've changed my narrative that I survived cancer three times. And I am married to a wonderful man now that loves my children as his own. And God provided, God provided for me back then. All right, so it's no longer, oh, poor Shannon, whoa, Shannon. No, look at the huge God that I serve, right? Okay, so then we're going to focus again on that particular stressor. You know, that for, that previous portion, it's got to make peace with your past, right? So then we're going to look at that stressor again. And I want you to imagine the best case scenario for it. And when the enemy tries to come knocking with that anxiety and stress and everything, you'd be like, nope, I recognize this is a trigger from my past and I've made peace with it. And, <coughs> excuse me, and 
I now am focused on God loves me, God is with me, and this is going to be an awesome situation because this is going to go down like da 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 Even if it doesn't go down the way that you are hoping, isn't it better to hope than to dread? All right. Uh, you know, Ross and I do these via Zoom, and soon we'll be doing in person. If you ever want an extended version of this, jump into the DMs. We'll discuss all of that. And if you want to purchase our book, it is Relax, Relate, Renew to the Incredible You Faith Inspired Strategies for Stress Relief and Personal Growth. Hop into the DMs and we'll get you the payment links on those because you do get a lot of additional resources through um, email when you purchase through us and not Amazon. <laughs> All right. So have a wonderful day. And as always, however we can pray for you, we would love to do that. Just, you know what to do. Hop into the DMs. All right. So have a great, great day. And I pray the Lord bless you and keep you and make his face shine down upon you. And don't forget, we do have the Design Your Comeback group coaching program. Again, if you want more information. <laughs> and with that, we are providing a 15-minute complimentary laser coaching session as well. So you just got to, you know, hop into the DMs. All right. Have a great day.